Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good, good evening, evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening. Thank you. 
Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm very good. Very good. A little bit better, but I'm here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm checking your grace right now because I need to be pretty sure. Let me see your name. I don't see your name here. <clears throat> okay. Let us see a hey. I'm still waiting for some of you that are, are missing some activities. I don't know, maybe today you are going to finish. As soon as we finish the class, we, you can do it because I need to record it as soon as, as possible. Okay, let me check out the attendance now because remember that today we are going just to work uh, an hour and uh, 16 minutes because what we are doing is just uh, a review. Okay, Ana Beatriz, are you there? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Ana Lilian? Present. Escobar? Present. Okay. Selena? Diana? Eric? Jose Jonathan. Say hello, Jonathan. Good evening. Okay, Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Laura Carolina. Laura Carolina. Maria Concepcion. Present. Okay, welcome. Eh, Maria Elena. Maria Elena, I don't see you now. Okay, don't see you. Maria Ernesto, it's not here today. Mayra Verolice, I don't see Mayra. Maybe later on. Saira Maleni. I can I can hear you, Saira. I don't know why. Maybe your microphone or something like that is not working properly. Santo Misael? 
Present teacher. Thank you, sir. And Wendy Maribel? Present teacher. Okay. And Yesenia Lisset. Yesenia is on the roll, I guess. I got a, I got a message here. I don't know, right, teacher? I don't know, right? Okay. But Lee, say hello. Say hello. Okay, I got it now. Jose, Jonathan, good evening, good evening. Okay. Maybe having a problem with uh with that connection, maybe. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, as I told you the, in the previous class today, what we are going to do is just to create a complement for, for, the, for the class that we have on May 25, because I have some problem in order to record the second part for the reason uh, uh, we need to make a complement. And I do really appreciate your uh, that you be here with me in order that we can finish this today. At uh, 8.30 p.m. we are going to start to fill in all the information that you need to fill it. And we are going to follow all the steps that we need to do in order to, in order that you do it in the right way. So uh, let us start making a review. Good evening. Hello, sir, welcome. Okay, I remember I told you that we are going to check some exercise that you have there related with suffix. I got it here. Okay, let me share it. Do you remember this activity? Yes. Okay, let us see what you have. I remember um, I asked you to resolve the, the, the three ones. Who wants to who wants to read it and, and resolve the num number two? Number two is Sam really wants to be a baker when he grow, grow up. He likes to teach people. 
Okay. Son really wants to be a teacher when he grows up. Uh, he likes to be a teacher. To be a teacher is the right. Remember that right here we have the we had the bear here. And when we had the bear here, we are going to use as a noun in this size. Try to remember. Okay, what about the next one? The number three? Who wants to read it? Tom uh, really wants to be a uh... A teacher, when he grow, grow, grow up, he likes to teach people. Okay, thank you. But what about number three? <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I'm not, I'm not a great... <laughs> I'm not a great... Um, golfer, but I like to golf on weekend okay perfect thank you number four number four number four david livingstone was a famous british explorer he explored part of africa okay that is right. Number five. My brother likes to blog, to blog about restaurants in our, in our city. He is a blogger. Ah, okay, a blogger. Okay, number six. So number six. Our window look dirty. Let's call a to come and wash them. What is the key word here? Let's go a uh, cleaner teacher. Cleaner. Let's call, let's call a cleaner to come and wash them. Okay, could be in that way, but if we have watch here. If I got the, the, the bear watch, I need to switch it into now. Somebody else, somebody else. Okay. 
Okay, uh, then at the end, I'm going to show you the, the answer. Okay, number seven. Number seven. Who wants to read it? Number seven, me teacher. Yes, okay, ready? I like growing flowers and plants. Maybe I'll learn how to be a gardener. Okay, how to be a gardener. Number eight. No, number nine. I'm sorry. Number number eight. Michael Fall is a famous who swam in 2012 Olympic Games. What is the word that I need in order to complete the sentence? Premier. It is? Swimmer. Okay. Swimmer. Swimmer. Yes. Okay, number nine. Number nine. This is my first time to study Spanish. I'm a A student. Okay, let me see. Let me show you here. Uh, remember that you need to use this word, the one that we have here, but not in the same way. For example, I got bake baker, clean cleaner. Swim, swimmer, blog lover, and so on. Which one do you consider that is the right one? In number nine. This is my first time to study Spanish. Um, uh, Any idea? Beginner teacher, beginner. Ah, could be beginner. Beginner. Okay, beginner. Okay, number 10. The Dutch, Vincent van Gogh, painted many great works of art. Take a look at the bird that you have here and you just going, are going to relate the noun here. Sometimes it helps to do it in this way. If you he's take a look. a painter, teacher. Ah, he's a painter, okay. The Dutchman painter. painter, Vincent van Gogh, painted many great words. Painter. Of art. Okay. 11. Who smoke a lot of cigarettes, usually cough a lot. Smoker. Smokers. Okay. Smoker who smoke a lot. Okay. Number 12. Major. Ah, yeah. Mrs. Smith really knows how to manage a company well. 
She's a gray. She's a gray. Manager. If you take a look at this, this is the verb, and you are going to switch it into noun here. El verbo se convierte en nombre. Okay, 13. Who can take care of our child for two hours? Do you know any? Baby sister. <laughs> Baby, baby, babysitter. Maybe could be babysitter. Okay, and the last one, number fourteen. The police are looking for an who attacked and robbed a man. Any idea? Yeah, Mason. The police are looking for Anne who attacked and robbed a man. It is if the bear is robbed, how could be the noun? Okay, uh, 15. I think we should tell that to uh, slow down. He's driving too fast. We should tell that if the bear is driving, how is going to be the noun here? Driving and the noun is? Driver. Driver, yes. And the last one, does the red car belong to Richard? Is he the? Owner teacher. The owner, okay. Because of the time, because we are so close to start doing the poll that we need to do it. Uh, okay, you got the answer here. You can make an extreme shop. Baker, teacher, golfer, clutter, blogger, cleaner, gardener, swimmer, beginner, painter, smoker, manager, babysitter, attacker, driver, and owner. Okay. I'm sorry to stop chatting. But we need to start with the with the activity that we have. Okay, I guess all of you got the information, but I'm going to share with you uh, all the steps that you need to follow in order to resolve this activity. Ok, en este momento se dará inicio al desarrollo de la encuesta de satisfacción, la cual es el tercer requisito que ISAFOR establece para definir si cada participante ha aprobado o no el presente módulo. Solicito su atención y el seguimiento de las indicaciones para que su encuesta se envíe sin errores. 
En primer lugar, veremos un vídeo explicativo para que tenga una idea general de dónde obtendrá la información solicitada y la forma correcta de trasladarla. Les voy a pedir que vayamos paso a paso. No quiero que nadie vaya adelante. Tenemos tiempo. Okay, reúneme un segundo en lo que carga el vídeo. Un segundo, por favor. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Thank you. 
Okay. Let me show you the next step that you need to follow. Bien, ya tenemos entonces la encuesta de satisfacción. A, a ustedes ya les previamente se les envió un link donde eh, está. Solo de darle clic para comenzar a ver los campos e incluso eh, en su correo electrónico para poder solo ir copiando la información que necesitamos en cada apartado. Por ejemplo, en el 1 dice ingresa el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y plecas. Ese ya fue proporcionado. Ok, déjenme moverme un poco, por favor, para poder hacer la copia y pega respectiva. Recuerden que es más fácil solo ir copiando y pegando con mucho cuidado para que no haya ningún error. Bien, tengo entonces ya la orden de, de inicio, justamente como fue, como fue proporcionada. Luego seguiría el nombre completo suyo, tal como se brindó. Seguidamente sería el correo electrónico. Debe recordarse muy bien la, a cómo lo tiene escrito. Su número de celular que es el que ha proporcionado y algo importante, el sexo. Para el departamento solo va a estar a dar clic y desplegar las diferentes opciones que aparecen y seleccionar el correcto. Luego sería el municipio de residencia. Y algo importante, la empresa donde trabaja, el nombre.
Seguidamente sería el nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. En este caso sería inglés corporativo, Regal International. Hello, sir. De, de, para la empresa donde trabajamos es la el nombre legal ¿no? sí el nombre el nombre que, que ustedes dieron al momento de o que su empresa dio al momento de, de, de inscribirlos si alguien tiene duda por favor consulte que eh, tengo esa información Ya lo hacemos entonces, o cómo? Sí, ya de una vez podemos ir avanzando. Ah. Para que así, eh, si hay alguna duda referente a algo, de una vez la vamos llenando. Para que no hayan errores, porque ya eh, solamente se puede hacer una vez. Si alguien tiene duda con su empresa, por favor consulte. Avíseme para poder ayudarle. Bien, ahí las tildes se las debo porque mi computadora está en inglés, entonces no le... Eh, se me hace difícil, sí sé dónde está, pero no. Ok, ese sería el nombre del curso, inglés intermedio módulo 4. Si alguien tiene alguna duda de los pasos ya explicados, por favor me lo hace saber. Ok, en el 1.1 valore los siguientes aspectos relacionados al curso. ¿Cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? ¿Qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? ¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? Luego, algo importante en el 1.2, ¿en qué fecha inició el curso? Ahí tienen ustedes uh, esa información en su correo electrónico. Sería 2 de mayo. ¿Y en qué fecha finaliza? Sería la fecha de hoy. Ahí está. <coughs> Luego, desde el punto 4, desde el 1.4, donde dice cuál es su nivel de satisfacción uh, después de completar el curso, hay dos opciones, satisfecho o insatisfecho. Cada, cada uno de ustedes debe de marcar uh, satisfecho o insatisfecho. 
Lo único que se aclara es que este punto no se refiere a cómo usted se siente con usted mismo por haber cumplido o no. Tampoco se refiere a que no le parecen cosas como el manual o el hecho de mantener la cámara encendida o alguna acción de alguno de los compañeros suyos. O mucho menos que se siente insatisfecho por la deficiencia del servicio de internet, contratado, etcétera, etcétera. Este punto se refiere únicamente a cómo, eh, en el caso mío como facilitador, he eh, impartido la clase pedagógicamente, académicamente, y cómo nuestro equipo administrativo les ha apoyado en cada uno de los procesos. Usted puede seleccionar. Eh, una de las dos opciones, el seleccionar la opción de insatisfecho, nosotros nos damos por enterados que no procederá con la inscripción al siguiente modo. Entonces, eh, les invito a que vayamos haciéndolo. En el 1.5 tiene el, o el 15 tiene menciones que otros cursos son de su interés. Si usted tiene algo, que, eh, algo más que le interesa, lo puede escribir ahí. Y en el 16, si tiene algún comentario, usted lo escribe. Luego eh, le da enviar y no olvide hacer una captura, que es la que debe enviar al grupo de WhatsApp que ha sido creado por la corporación. ¿Alguna pregunta? Estoy a la orden. Recuerden que tan pronto envíen su captura, tengo que contabilizar cada una de ellas para estar seguro que me coincide con el número de participantes. Quien por algo motivo no estuvo el día de hoy, bueno, ya se le había indicado a todos que el envío de esta información se haría justamente en la fecha ya programada. No olviden colocarle su nombre a la captura que me van enviando para de esa forma poder ir verificando que ya están realizando o que ya realizaron eh, la encuesta. Bien, hasta el momento llevo ocho. Recuerden, si tienen alguna duda, eh, pregunten. De esa manera hacemos las cosas más fáciles. Estas capturas se van a cotejar con la asistencia del día de hoy.
Ahora, no olviden que eh, esta encuesta es el tercer requisito que Insafor establece. Si alguien por A o B motivo no lo realiza, eso es un impedimento. Por no cumplir con esa parte que se le pide. Debo de tener 15 capturas. Bien, creo que están. Voy a mencionarlos. No, no sé. Lo voy a mencionar a cada uno. Para estar seguro de que sí lo ha enviado, porque... Ya cerrando esta actividad va a ser bastante difícil que pueda alguien hacerlo. Eso deben de tenerlo muy claro. Ok, María Concepción, Jonathan, Eric Orlando. Ana Lilian, Carlos Antonio, Wendy Maribel, Mayra, Santos Misael, Laura Carolina, Diana Stephanie, Zaira, Ana Beatriz, Mario Ernesto, Juan Carlos, Yesenia Lisset, Selina Guzmán. ¿Será que me salen más de 15 y solo tengo 15 en asistencia hoy? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, tengo 16. Bueno, ¿será que no ha registrado a alguien? En la asistencia. Bueno, ya vamos a verificar la asistencia para ver si estamos todos. Esto es... Aparenta ser algo simple y sencillo, pero es lo que, como les digo, es lo que Insafor va a verificar como tercer requisito para la promoción. Ahora, la otra cosa que no deben de olvidar también es que uh, es necesario tener el 80% de la asistencia. Si por algún motivo alguien no llega a ese porcentaje, pues ya era del conocimiento previo que tenía que llegar a ese, a ese porcentaje, ¿cierto? Eh, 
Ángel la asistencia, Ana Beatriz. Present. Ok. Ana Lilian. Present, teacher. Escobar. Present. Selina. Present. Ahí está. Ok. Diana. It's not here. Eric. I don't see Eric. Jose Jonathan. Present, teacher. Ok, Juan Carlos. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Laura. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present. María, eh, María Elena. María Elena. No se le oye, María Elena. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Mayra, ahí está Mayra. Zaira. Zaira. Say hello, Zaira. Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. Okay. Ahí está la asistencia. Teacher. Hello. Me escucha. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, let us see what else we're going to do before we leave. Okay, in order to finish, um, let us talk a little bit about, about this question. Were you willing to do business with the company that caused you a bad experience in the past? What do you think about this question? Depend, teacher. Okay. Uh, if if necessary, or or is is you is unique unique play um unique unique company uh, offer the service or product. Uh, ni modo, no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I, I got your point. You don't have any action if, <laughs> if it is unique. Okay, the, for that reason, the question said, will you willingly do business with the company that costs you a bad experience in the past? It's up to you, you know, you need to consider a lot of different aspects in order to take a decision like that. Okay, somebody else? No? Okay. Good job. Ah, tell us, sir. Uh... Who say you? Hello?
לא. For example, teacher, um, maybe because of the idea that we have, um, it's, we have a, like a loud percentage to, uh, to trust in, in the company if they made a mistake. For example, if it is a, a small mistake or is not so, uh, significant, maybe we can like give a second opportunity, but if it is like a big, big, um, mm -hmm. bad uh, or any issue, yeah, the company will think about it. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, in order to continue, uh, in exercise number two said, read the following, it's sir, about inventory issues Walmart has experienced identify main ideas and key details to answer the question below. Out of stock problem, Walmart had them to Okay, I don't know if you want to, one of you want to read it, to start reading. No, okay, with over 11, uh, 11,000 stories in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory, Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves. In the recent years, analysts have attributed Walmart problem to mismanage inventory. Take a look at that. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to uh, Insider, there were many cases where stock was available in a store, but due to shortage of a stock, it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shops. And management worsened worse the problem by further putting back the stock to save in costs. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effects that their out of stock inventory level would have on the customer experience. Let me move a little bit. Okay, even for giant like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Okay, based on this, uh, reading, I need that you answer the following question. You have five different questions here. Number one, say what is Walmart average inventory? You are going to read again in order to look for the information. Walmart problem is attribute two. Uh, number three, what costs delays to move a stop out of the shop floor? Um, number four, how did the stock problem uh, becomes worse? 
So number five, why did Walmart fail at inventory management? Okay. I'm going to give you some minutes in order that you can uh, answer it and look for the info. If you have the material, it's in the uh, page 40. You can find it there. Remember that you need to identify the main ideas and key details to answer the questions below. As soon as you finish, let me know, please.
Okay, who wants to read in, uh, question number one? Me, hey, teacher. Okay, read it. What is Walmart average inventory? Ever, ever, average inventory. Average. Okay, what is the answer? Average. My answer is letter B. Letter B. Sorry, two billions, okay. Second. Second. Number two. Number two. Walmart's problem is attributed, attributed to is letter C, mismanaged inventory. Okay, mismanaged inventory. Okay, number Attributed, attributed. Okay, number number three. What caused delays to move a stock out of the shop floor? A, B, or C? A, B, or C? Letter B. The shortage in the stuff. Okay, number four. How did the stock problem become worse? Customer stopped shopping. Uh, Walmart cut the stock to save in cost or stock was delayed? Later, later, A, B, or C. Hello, you need to read the info. Which teacher, which one? I'm sorry. A, B, or C? It is the number four. Yeah, I'm talking about number four. How did this uh, problem became worse? Customer stop shopping. Customer stop? Shopping. Mm. Mm, no teacher. Okay. I think that is letter B. Okay. One might cut the stuff to save in cost. Mm. Okay, let us go back. Let us see. Find it, find it, find it in the, in the, in the paragraph.
Okay, you can find it uh, in this way. Okay, let us see the last one. Why did Walmart fail at inventory management? The last one, please. Why did Walmart fail at inventory management? You can find in here, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effects. Yeah. That mean that is letter? Letter A. Letter A, okay. Letter A. Okay, if we check it, uh, this is not the right one. And this one is, uh, let us see. No, I guess it's gonna be this one. Okay, number three is letter B. Number four is letter B2. <clears throat> And number five is letter A, this one. Okay, make a uh, screenshot if you want. Well, I guess time is over. I guess time is over, time is over. I would like only just to share with you something that uh, I've been talking about during the classes. But let me see if I... Share the, the exercise picture or lost. I erase it, but if you want, I can tell you. For example, uh, number one is B. Number two is C. Okay. okay. Number three is B. B. Okay. Number four oh, is B. Okay. And number five is A. A. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And before we go, I would like to share with you something that is going to help you in a hurry because I know that uh, it is time now. Yo sé que ya es hora de, ya cumplimos con el tiempo que nos hizo falta, pero um, I'm going to give you this porque van a necesitar mucho esto. During all the process, I've been listening to you uh, pronounce it in a, not in a proper way, uh, the ED or the regular verb. Okay, take a look at this pronunciation of the ED suffix, the regular verb in English. I'm going to give you just a general idea how to pronounce it at the, at the end of a regular verb. There are three ways. Si usted puede, vaya haciendo capturas. The first one, the ED sound like an ED. Eso sería la primera. Cuando suena el, el ED, suena como uh, ED. The second one, the ED sound like a T. Eh, la segunda sería cuando el ED suena como una T. And the T sound is that. And the third one, the ED sound like a D, da, 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 that is the sound of the letter D. Entonces hay tres reglas nada más. Una que suena como ED, otra como T y otra como D. Veamos cuándo sucede eso. Ok, the ED uh, as, uh, 
ED sound when the pronunciation of the base form of the verb end with an alveolar stop consonant. Ese es el nombre por el lugar donde se articulan y la manera como se articulan se llaman alveolar stop consonant. In this case, we are talking about B or T. The pronunciation of the ED suffix will be ED. And we got some examples. Y tenemos algunos ejemplos. Observe y si tiene preguntas, por favor, no dude en hacerlas. For example, I got need. When I add ED, I say need it. En tiempo pasado, need it. Attend, attended. And, ended. Ahora, ¿por qué sucede esto? Porque ya vimos que solamente los verbos que terminan en sonido D o T son los que se van a pronunciar de esa forma. For example, veamos aquí, create, create, created, want, wanted, no wanted, print, printed, no printed, no. Okay, question? Preguntas son básicos. Esto es básico. Teacher is rules. Um, is. Uh, is necessary. Uh, I'm, I don't remember the word. Aprender. Solamente se aprende. O, ¿O hay alguna manera de, 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 saber, de saber los cambios? No, en this case, I'm giving you the rules. The rules. Okay. Yeah, the, for the reason I, I told you at the beginning, there are three rules. Por eso aquí dije que hay tres reglas. Ok. Ok, that is the first one. Well, let us see the second one. The ED as T. When a pronunciation of the base form of verb ends with the unvoiced consonant, the pronunciation of the ED subject will be T. And we need to know what is unvoiced consonant. We have it there. The one that are in circles, we call it unvoiced. Like P. Puede poner la anterior, por favor. Okay. We classify a vowel and consonant in voice and unvoice. All depend on the at the moment that we are going to produce the sounds. Okay, in this case, uh, we have P, F, T, uh, V, that this is the sound, V. Uh, this is, uh, in this case, it's like J, hat, hat. Cheese, Z, car, show. We call it unvoice. Okay, let us see. Veamos ejemplos. Vean las terminaciones de cada verbo. Por ejemplo, esta, stop. No es que voy a decir stop it. O stop it, no. Aquí suena, esto se lo vine diciendo eh, desde el inicio. Stop. Ese sería el pasado. Stop, stop. ¿Por qué? Porque el sonido está clasificado, esta letra del RFP. It is some voice. I, I have it here. Let me show you again. 
I got it here, P, letter P. En todas las palabras que terminen en sonido de cualquiera de estas, al momento de agregar ED, su sonido va a ser... Ok, otra, work, word, porque tengo un sonido K. Left, left, left. Miss, missed, no miss it. Cash, cashed. Watch, watched. Hagan un screenshot, por favor, rapidito, porque ya. Ya estamos sobre tiempo. Y no quiero quitarles más de lo, de lo normal. Y la tercera, y con esta termino. The D as D. ¿Cuándo yo voy a pronunciar eso así? When the pronunciation of the big form of verb and in a vowel or voice consonant. Ah, ok. Cuando la pronunciación de la forma base del verbo termina en una vocal or voice consonant. Las consonantes que son voice son aquellas que cuando se pone uno el dedo así y la pronuncia, hay una vibración. The pronunciation of the ED suffix will be da. No di, sino que es da. Da. ¿Ya? Yeah. And we have the classification voice and non-voice. Okay, veamos. Ahí están. I got letter B, B, M, N, N. This is the sound. Uh, this is an N and a G. Mm. Da, da, da. It's this one. In dog, like in this. This is sing, sing, and in now. Be in video, and this one is bought. What about this one? Jun, Jun, Sun, Red, Low. Wet. Yes. Television. Go. Okay, make a description too. And the example are this. For example, if I got the verb play, at the moment that we are going to talk in past, we are going to say played, not play it. Played. Grab, 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 brag, bread, leave, lead, repair, repair. Yes, yes. Engage, engage. Blame, blame. Listen, no listen it, listen. Control, control. Okay, hagan su screenshot, por favor. Y ahí les dejo para que en lo que llega el siguiente módulo tengan actividad de poder uh, practicar eso. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know if you have any questions so far. From here, if you want, uh, before the, the group disappear, I can share with you a presentation uh, with more information related with this. Because remember the new group, uh, they are going to start maybe in the next week. And for the reason, as soon as you are going to be in the next level, that is going to be five, uh, you, they, they are going to delete this group. Okay. 
Okay, thank you very much. It was our pleasure to be here with you. I wish you the best. Uh, and if you consider that I can give you a hand in something in the pre in the next module, uh, try to keep my contacts. It's going to be a pleasure to 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 give you a hand because uh, maybe uh, they are going to to move us to a different level. So I'm not pretty sure about that. We never know exactly at that. At, until the moment that they assign a new groups. But it's pretty good that you have uh, different options because uh, you can uh, listen different accents, you know? And that is the way that we are going to improve our languages. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. And as I told before, I wish you the best for the next module. Try to continue, don't stop. And maybe at the end of the year, if I'm, in, I'm here in this country, I would like to hear from you that you uh, send me a message and say, teacher, I did it. I got my diploma and well, different, you know? Okay. Time is over. Ya no les quiero robar más tiempo. Thank en you, español, teacher. En español, Thank ya. you, teacher. Okay. En español y a colores. Eh, yes. uh, you, bueno, solo agradecerles la atención. Eh, esto generalmente siempre sucede. Esto es así, incluso en las universidades. Eh, ya el sábado estoy terminando eh, un ciclo. Y vamos a conocer nueva gente y, y esto así va. Así es que lo más importante es ir dejando huellas y amistades, que eso es lo que más cuenta, ¿verdad? Así es que no me resta más que darles las gracias por haberme dado la oportunidad de estar con ustedes. Hemos hecho lo que se ha podido hacer. Eh, Incluso hemos, hicimos algunas variantes ya eh, en este módulo, en las últimas, para ir eh, tratando de ayudarles en cuanto a la fluidez. Y de eso se trata. Por eso incluí al final este tema que yo sé que es muy importante y, y me imagino que quizás algunos no tuvieron la oportunidad de poderlo ver. Pero de ahora en adelante creo que van a hacerle un giro en su pronunciación y eso es bueno. Difícil es e incluso cuando a uno le toca estar en las dos polaridades, en determinada hora en inglés y después en español. Entonces es de tener sumo cuidado porque de repente puede hacer un mix y decir que esto, que está pasando. Ok, thank you. Bueno, no me resta más que agradecerles y estamos ahí para cualquier cosa que que crean que les puedo ayudar, pues aquí tienen un amigo. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, thank you. Gracias, thank you. Buenas noches. Gracias. Bye. 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 A quien le falta, por favor, termínenme las actividades. Necesito cuadrar esas notas. El día de mañana hago ya la última. Les pido de favor, si a alguien le hace falta, que busque. Eh, yo sé que hay que hacer el último esfuerzo. Y eh, para poder entregar todo y así que sea el que les ayude a la promoción para el siguiente módulo. Ok. Ok, bye bye. Sí. Ok, sí, Laura, bye bye, Laura, Wendy. Sí, bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. María Concepción. Bye, no, teacher. Bye, bye, sí, sí, sí. Bye, sí, sí. Maria is driving, is she driving? Be careful, Maria. Todavía va al volante. Es una amenaza. <laughs> okay, Wendy, well, try, try to keep my, my number okay. because I'm going to need it because I'm planning to, 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 to do something else in my life. It's you know? travel. Yes. Travel yes, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm planning to do something. So try to keep my, my number there and don't forget to send me a message. Okay. Thank okay. you, teacher. Okay, what's a pleasure I to write, I write in. <laughs> okay. 
Bye. Good night. Take care. Thank you. Take care.